As you start to manipulate PowerShell's formatting, it can be helpful to understand where all of the default formatting comes from. So here's how PowerShell works. Let's say we run a command like get process, and well, PowerShell does this with the formatting by default. Here's why. First of all, let's pipe that to get member and see what data type that actually produced. That's a system.diagnostics.process. Okay. Let's change to PowerShell's installation folder where we'll find a number of .format, .ps1, .xml files. These ones are all loaded into the shell automatically when it starts and it looks at the data contained in these files to determine if there is a format already defined for that data type. Now I've already looked and I did find that data type in .net types .format, .ps1, .xml. So let's bring that up in Notepad. We'll hit find, paste in that type. Well, that's actually a process module, so let's keep looking. Ah, there we go. So this view is selected whenever the type name system.diagnostics.process needs to be displayed. And it's creating a table using the headers handles, npm, pm, and so forth. And then these define what actually goes into each of those table columns. So that's the first thing PowerShell does. It looks to see if it has a predefined view defined in one of these format files. Now let's take a look at a slightly different one. Let's, um, I'll skip ahead a bit. I'm going to run this command, Win32 Operating System. Displays these six lines of information by default. Now if we look at Get Member, here's the data type for that. I'm just going to actually copy this last bit. So if we go back into that .NET types .format .ps1 xml file, hit find, paste that in, not found. Well, that means there is no predefined view for that particular data type. So the next thing PowerShell needs to do is determine what properties it's going to display. And it has two options. It can either try to display all of the object's properties, or it can just display those properties that are considered part of a default display property set. All of the default display property sets are defined in this file. So let's take a look at types.ps1xml and look for that same class name again. There it is. So this isn't defining a view. This is just dis defining certain attributes of this particular type. And one of the things it defines is a default display property set. And that default display property set includes system directory, organization, build number, registered user, serial number, and version. Hopefully, that looks a little familiar because it's exactly what we saw when we did this. So once PowerShell looks in that file, if there is a default display property set, then it knows it needs to display those properties. If not, then it will display all of the object's properties. Now that it knows which properties to display, it has to decide how to display them. And the answer is simple. If it's di displaying one, two, or three, or four properties, so fewer than five, it will use a table. If it's displaying five or more properties, as in this case, it's doing six, it will display a list. So that's where PowerShell's default formatting comes from.